everybody. Welcome back to Agape Pet Grooming. This is Malibu. Uh, she is a almost three-year-old golden doodle. Um, we're just going to give her a little bit of a haircut and clean her up. So I thought we'd bring you along. <clears throat> so I haven't groomed Malibu in quite a while. Um, if you watch the I Poodle the Doodle um, video, that black poodle, or the black doodle in there. Um, that's from my little This is her sister. Um, she's also the sister of my um, one that looks just like her. In the very first video I ever posted uh, of him. So she's here. We're actually babysitting her. Um, but I figured I'm not doing much else today. And use a good bath and haircut, so I figured we will get her all cleaned up while she's here. <laughs> she does have a really big mat in her tail that we're going to um, try to get out uh, without having to shave it, but we'll see if we can do that or not. Oh yeah, you are dirty. You're a dirty girl. She was groomed, I'm not sure, um, but looks like she's due. So we figured we would have fun today and give her a little bit of a haircut and back because she's real dirty. All of these pups from my litter have been being bathed since they were about four weeks old, um, maybe even less than that. I started bathing them, um, blow drying them, and getting them used to being uh, groomed. Yes, I did. Hey, my baby. pretty big mat in her tail. I'm going to use the mat splitter to see if we can save it, but we may not be able to. Um, today's mixture of the shampoo um, is the Hydroped Economy with um, some of the Quadruped Whitening and Brightening and a couple pumps of the eye groom. Uh, to and we'll follow up with our typical bark, the basics, uh, blueberry conditioner, and then give her a haircut from there. Right, we're going to get some of these bubbles 
out. Just 
sometimes hair will get past this little strainer and get down in there and then I have to put it on the strain and like shove it out. all dry. Uh, we do need to just start brushing her out and everything. She's such a good girl. We're just going to start brushing her out. This is the Paw Brothers uh, Long Pin Extra Large Slicker Brush. So she does have a few mats. She's got some pretty good mats behind her ears. Um, that one on her tail that I mentioned in the tub. So the ones behind her ears will definitely have to shave out. Um, her tail, I think I'm going to be able to save. I was able to pull it away um, from the skin with the dryer. So do that nasty in here. So I think we'll be able to save that. If her whole body was really matted, I wouldn't save it. Uh, I would just shave it all down, but it's not. It's just a couple spots. So we're going to see what we can do. You're such a good girl, Mama. Yes. Her nails are really long. Her sanitary is really long. It's probably been a little while since she's had a groomy. goes on and off a couple times. She's got um, pretty coarse hair. Um, the coarsest out of, at least the ones that I see from my litter, which is most of them. Um, she's definitely got more of a, I don't even know, very pretty. But very coarse. Which is nice though because if she was like really soft and really curly and curly, she'd be just probably 
completely mad at by right now. Um, just based off of how long she is and my guess and how long it's been since she had a groom. Um, but she's got pretty forgiving hair, so that's really nice. Good girl. Yeah, you know, you're a good girl. I have my hand on her actual tail, um, so I'm not going to get the skin or anything. So you can tell, big old mat. Can you stand up there?
Good girl. the 30 blade and do her paw pads. Thank you. 
gonna pick up her leg and right where it bends, I'm gonna go in reverse. This gives her leg a little bit of an angulation. This looks a little bit better. driveway alarm. Um, I think I said in the previous video though, when big cars go on the street out here, it picks it up. Um, so we do need to adjust it so it's just our driveway. We get a lot of fossil alarms. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So she does have some of that matting behind her ear. I am gonna see if I can put it out real fast. There we go. Perfect. Here we go. And I'm gonna take right under her ear, pretty short here. That just helps to prevent the matting in the future. And give airway up to into her ear. Good girl. And since I already have it on here, I'm gonna do the other side. Good girl. Here, yeah, all of this right here. I'm gonna take all that off because you can't see it because her long ears and. It just helps prevent matting and ear infections and all sorts of things. It's good to go short under there. All right, so now we're going to go back to the long comb. Finish up over here. Bring you guys over here. I know a lot of groomers don't like doing doodles or don't don't do doodles um, because their personalities and temperaments are all over the board. Um, I have been super lucky. I would say 95, maybe 99 percent of my doodles are good. Um, I haven't had to send one away yet. Uh, for like not being able to do it or being out of control or anything. Um, when I was having doodles, um, I definitely wanted to make sure they got the best start to grooming and life. So we started from really young. We started messing with their ears and um, their paws and running clippers on their bodies, even from like Oh gosh, they're probably like four weeks old when I started doing that to them. Um, so if doodle breeders would, you know, well, think what you want about it, but um, people that breed doodles, if they would take the extra time to really get their dogs accustomed to grooming, um, it would be so much easier on the groomer, on the dog, because I know a lot of groomers that, um, know of doodles that can only be groomed when they're completely sedated and that's not healthy for a dog uh, to have to be completely knocked out every time they need a groom um so yeah and that's another reason i like to see doodles in here or really any dog in here young eight weeks old ten weeks old Not in here necessarily, it don't have to be here, but get your puppy to a groomer as soon as possible. Okay, so that's some more matting under that armpit here. Let's bring you guys in a little. I'm just going to take that shorter guard comb and get under here. You can tell it's been bothering her, she's been licking it. Um, it's discolored from her saliva, so the the mats have either have been bugging her armpits. I'll see, girl. Her mom and dad are so sweet. 
Um, they adore this dog. <laughs> So, and I get to watch them pretty much every time they go out to town, out of town. So I get to see her pretty often, um, at least, I don't know, a couple times a year typically. So I think it's been a little while since I've seen her because last time when they went on vacation, um, I think we were on vacation too. So, but I love having her, um, I watch Pretty much a lot of not not all I watch my puppies um, I watch dogs all the time anyways but I like to see my pups um, a lot of them are local my family has them uh, close friends have them um, so I get to see them pretty often which I love so I'm taking the half inch guard comb down the back of her legs and on parts of her belly um, just to take off that excess hair. Excess hair, not excess hair. Okay, yeah. Take that. Perfect. I'm going to take a little bit back here too. Just the parts that they tend to get matted in. No point having the extra hair in there, really. a good girl. Okay. Good, good. All right. So flipper work for now is done. Ready to put this back on you? I'll put it on you. All right. We're going to start scissoring up her feet and her legs. find her toenails which are pretty a little bit long um, and just cut at an angle right in front of them and then spray it around with the Barberas and put on a 40, which is a little bit shorter. up her legs a little bit, her leg a little bit.
it all forward to at an angle in front of her toenail. For a couple more days, so I will probably nitpick at this for a while. For a couple days, anytime I see something, I'll just cut it off. See what I'm doing. Someday I'll be fancy and have one of those GoPro things that I can just wear. But YouTube isn't my business, it's just something fun for me to do. So
brush it all up, give it a shake. She has another mat right there. Stay, babe. Stay still. I think I need to do what I did on the other leg and go down it with the shorter length. Long chunkers again and cut the inside of her front leg. Stay big. So when um, her and the other blonde one that's been on the channel, his name's Sheriff, he's mine. Um, when they were babies, First of all, it was a very hard litter. We lost them at three days, when they were three days old. Um, complications and it was horrible. Anyways, um, she went to her parents at just about eight weeks. I think she's like seven and a half weeks-ish. Um, and her and mine uh, both got something called puppy strangles, which it was a very, I'd never heard of that. I've been in, I had been in this industry already for, oh gosh, up to close to 15 years already. And I'd never heard of anything called puppy strangles. Um, and it sounds awful. And no, I didn't strangle them as puppies. That's not what it means. Um, but it's basically like a, I guess it, maybe some sort of autoimmune kind of disease. I'm not really sure exactly, but um, their joints got all swollen. Um, they got what, you know, they said was like double ear infections, um, so they had infections in both ears. Um, their noses got like these boils on them. They were, it was, it was sad. Um, but as far as I know, they're both healthy. Mine's healthy. As far as I know, she's perfectly healthy now. It was just, just a rough start to life, huh, baby girl? Um, but they're good dogs. They're real good dogs. They have, their parents' temperaments. Um, are, I still have the dad and were amazing and so they, they are very good dogs and I don't just say that because they're mine but I say it because they really are. I see hundreds of dogs, I've met thousands of dogs, um, I've groomed thousands of dogs. Um, these are some real good dogs. So, hey baby. The litter, the litter that we had was not intentional. Um, my poodle was older and my golden was a baby. Um, never, I don't know, just, I guess we were just being naive about it, but she didn't want anything to do with them. She wouldn't even let him in the same room as her. And then one night it was just too late. So, it is what it is. I learned my lesson uh, tenfold. Um, all of my pets, all of the, all of my puppies were spayed and neutered. Um, all the ones that I kept, which is two, but my dad was neutered too um, as soon as they could. Um, oh, sorry. I was not taking any more chances. I was completely scarred um, from that, and it took a long time for me to get over that. Stay, babe. Stay, stay, stay. So, no more puppies for me. I will purchase my puppies or rest. I probably, honestly, I wouldn't have got, I wouldn't have gone out and purchased a doodle. Um, I had no intention of ever buying a doodle. I think they're cute dogs, um, but they just weren't something. I had a standard poodle, so I didn't have any desire to have a doodle, and I would not have gone out and purchased one. But, um one of the litter he just stayed <laughs> and then the other one went to my daughter who is only 11 so she's technically mine too but um yeah my next dog i don't know i don't i keep saying i want stuff and then 
who knows? I really, I would really love to have another Doberman. Um, not near the grooming need, and um, they're super good dogs too. We've had one of those as well. And I'm experienced enough to that I feel like we can have another Doberman. Um, they're not for, I wouldn't say they're for a first time dog owner. That's just my personal opinion. But, but that's a long way down the road. My, the doodles are only three years old and dad's only four years old. So not anytime soon, hopefully. All right, so back to the grooming. Sorry about my little tangent. Um, she is just about done with her scissor work. Um, we're gonna do her head. Yeah, she's looking good. All right, so this big old head. Um, okay, so because we did a really long comb on her body, I'm gonna just take what she has on her head and shape it up. <laughs> First, we're gonna start by getting this stuff out of here. And I do not shave down noodles' noses. I do not like how that looks at all. Um, it just doesn't look good to me. There's, there's put that hair right there. So, all right. So I'm gonna bring all this forward now. And we're just gonna cut it off so she can see. So cute. You got a big A. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to shake it out. And shake it up a little. <laughs> beard down. And we're going to shape up this line and take a lot of this off of her hair. Sorry, pretty cute. Right, the same thing on this side. No, no, no. so that she doesn't lick, not hard, just enough so that her tongue doesn't come out. And I'm basically just taking off all that dark, wet stuff that's around her lips, because it just gets, she just sucks it in her mouth anyways. And I'm thinking I wanna take some more off the top of her head, honestly, it's a little long. It's a little long. Mm -hmm. Because her beard, I'm guessing, and I don't know, I'm guessing she was shaved down last time. Um, just because parts of her are short. And like her sanitary was not much longer than her body. Or not much shorter than her body, which is usually a good inclination that they were shaved down last time. Um, so I'm going to take that e that we did her body with. And I'm going to go over her head just a little bit. Not a ton, because I do want to leave it longer than her body. And I'm just gonna kind of graze over it. Just because it looks less comb like that way. And I'm going with the grain. With the way the hair grows. Okay. 
You really like to look one way. Huh, you only like to look the one way. Okay, we're gonna brush all this up, up and out, and then I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. too much off because mom and dad don't actually didn't ask me to grimmer. <laughs> um, I don't think they're gonna mind. I didn't take much off of her but I was bored. My dogs are clean and um, my husband has had his wisdom teeth taken out so he is down for the weekend. So I was pretty bored and she needed a bath. <laughs> so she was the victim today. <laughs> to this obviously. He looks so cute. I just love you. Alright, so now I'm going to take the smaller trunkers and my thinning shears and I'm just going to take the thinning shears and I'm just going to take the, the edge off of her beard right here. Chunkers and go under here. Clean all that up. Okay. Now for her ears. Not really sure what's going on with an ear. One of them is longer than the other. Do, do, do. Come here. Okay, so I'm going to trim this side just enough to give it a fresh cut and I'm going to even them up. There we go. Can't quite see the top of your head. There it is. Okay. You're looking so cute. This is buggy right there. This piece right here, it's kind of annoying me. But I don't want to cut it off because it'll leave her with a funny scar right there. She has like a weird palette right there. I still think her head's too big, but it'll be okay. Once it curls up, it'll look funny. Okay. So now just the tail, which we already dematted. I'm just going to Turn it up. Oh, I guess we'll turn it back this way. Turn it this way. Okay, she's gonna sit down for this. And I will come on this side. Give your tail. Just gonna de mat it. Not de mat it, detangle it, because it's had a couple tangles still, nothing bad. 
Now, if I can get her to stand up, I'll show you what happened. So you can see right here was where that mat was. So it's pretty sparse right there. So what I want to do is just trim up the tail. Um, just enough so it doesn't look too funny. Why are you standing like that? There you go. So I'm just going to come down to the end. I'm going to touch the table. Let's see. Touch the table and cut off what's overlapping. Okay, now I'm going to brush all this out downwards. Brush all this down. And I'm like up against the wall, so. Okay. We're just going to trim it like that part still nice and big and warm. I probably didn't see any of that. My apologies. All right. Well, that is her. Miss Malibu. She's done. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.